Hey, hey. Happy day. I have a new deck. Um, I've seen other readers over the years use this deck. I've always felt more comfortable sticking to the traditional. However, uh, in order to experiment and try thing, new things and keep things fresh, here is a new deck. So it is the Lightseer's Tarot deck and it comes with a booklet so because it's new to me I see that each card kind of comes with a, a saying so we'll introduce those uh, as we do the cards we'll do a three card reading the same as the usual simple so a past energy current energy and the looking forward look it's still sealed Yeah, it's fun. It's like getting a new toy at Christmas, having uh, a new deck to play with. And I'm going to cheat a little bit just to see the deck when I shuffle. How oh. It's quite stiff. doing something a bit different because um, I don't really want to bend the cards. Okay, let's show that will do for a start. Okay. Oh, it's so nice to see different pictures. Right. Actually, I'll put them here. Let's see. So, uh, I already did the, the my usual reading for the week. So, this is uh, an additional bonus one this week because of the new deck, which every week when I do the readings, I, because I've been mainly working with the Rider Waite, I will now be able to uh, choose between the two different decks. So, that will be fun, um, playful time going forward. King of Pentacles, past position. I'm going to have a look at the card. I'll put a picture up on Instagram with the link to it if you want to see the layout. So the King of Pentacles um, would be... Uh, Pentacles is an earth sign uh, or an earth matter. It has to do with tangible assets and liabilities and... Um, there is a fellow very comfortable sitting in what looks to be a library. He looks very joyful. He looks wise, uh, peaceful. He has his loyal, trusted hound. He's busy enjoying the magic that he's seeing out of this pentacle. So it makes me think about that seed of pure potentiality and, uh, it came up in the this week's the other reading this week about 
how we are needing to um, create things from our heart space and not be cut off by the, the mental, the sword uh, actions or space. So it's really about starting again, like I said in that reading, starting where you are with what you have and <clears throat> being here now and recognizing exactly what that is. Skills, talents, resources, relationships, um, whatever. Uh, but it mo mainly because of this, the pentacle, it has to do with your house, your car, your debt, your savings, your pension, your funeral uh, policies. And uh, that makes me think if you don't have a will, perhaps that's something that you need to attend to. But it's really just being comfortable where you are with what you have and recognizing that. And the easiest way is to uh, be thankful for your many blessings, which is a state of grace. When you're in that state, you, you are able to see everything as an opportunity and a gift and a blessing, a miraculous start. Ten of Swords. So there we go. And you see, we, we were in... Um, swords is um, about our mental space, our attitude, our perspectives how we see things and I had the sense from the beginning of last week that the veils of illusion and delusion have been removed so we are able to see the truths for what it is and we, sh we are being forced to face our truths and take action on them and what I didn't mention in the other reading that is valid to now so we've come out of Mercury retrograde but I still had two instances last week of m m communication not flowing but it's okay because the end result was still that it was just quite an aggressive um form of resolving it certainly wasn't peaceful loving uh, in the instances but uh, it's irrelevant um karma takes care of itself and that's the ten of swords talks about uh, uh, 10 out of 10 and uh, limitations are self limitations being stripped because of how we think and perceive of things so we will start to perhaps experience m more sense of liberty of freedom of unshackled being unshackled from those things that are um, drawing us down and we are there, you know, in, we've had season change here and the birds make sometimes make an awful lot of noise or you, you can, I notice it when they're starting to fly off because you see more flocks of birds flying south. Uh, sorry, in this instance, north, we are the south or I am in the south and they are heading to uh, the north. And if you are in the north, then uh, that means you are in for some summer. So perhaps it is a bit like that. Um, we are in the dawn of a new sense of liberation. So we've been in this transitional stage of the caterpillar and the pupa. And we can, we've been coming out of the cocoon. But, you know, a, a butterfly or a moth doesn't just come out of that protected space and fly off it actually takes some time to acclimatize the wings need to dry and air out so it's that's the state we're in we're busy looking at what options we have available to us um, to consider and that's what I was going to say Saturn has gone into retrograde until the 23rd of October this year which means uh, he is the father of time and uh, karma. So as I said in the other reading, we are in that state of karmic, cosmic payback. So whether you did good or bad, we will now spend the next few months uh, reap, uh, reaping the rewards of our harvest, whether they are good or bad, whether we are harvesting what we, we thought we planted or whether it, we actually discover we've got a failed crop. And that's where that's starting over again. So um, this has a, a sense of 
a solar plexus chakra to me, but very soft. I'm seeing a yellow calcite. So anyone who's interested in using crystals as a form of healing, um, it works on this, the solar plexus chakra. Um, it will help with confidence, self-esteem, self-confidence, feeling uh, uh, really we are that already. So how we think about things, we need to believe that we are the king of pentacles, the masters of manifestation and the alchemists of abundance so uh yeah that's beautiful actually so sorry one thing i'm noticing about this it uh it feels a uh, desert like in a way and i know that many people are feeling alone you know um i've heard it from a number of people who are feeling alone and they are looking for a hand to hold and your inner child is that and it's you've learned the lessons to how to parent that inner child it's your job to take your inner child as the parent of that by the hand now and get you through the, the these challenges that are going to come up but this time around we get to do make better choices and uh healthier choices not the we learn from the mistakes of the past so um this sense of loneliness is simply to help you tap into your own deep well of resources. So don't feel alone or isolated. Alone, if you take that word and add an, a part and add an L, you get all one. Become your all one. You are that. Outcome looking forward. The eight of wands. So it feels like there, there is this sense of attracting more of your tribe. And everyone has a magic wand when they come together. And it's like all the, the, your tribes bringing their magic to the table. And eight we know is infinity, wands we know is manifestation. So it's perfect balance and perfect timing for uh, you to start reaching out for you through love uh, and taking that action that you need in order to manifest and I wanted to give an example in the last reading of when I talked about manifestation and in that reading I talk about the gap so if you want to know about where the gap lies uh, in manifestation and abundance then uh, it's worth having a look at that reading but it's working through the heart chakra pink and it's magic sparkles so what I noticed is when I talked about action I thought about an example I had recently and taking an action can be selfish and uh, it doesn't have to mean you have to actually connect the dots between what where you are and what you want other than uh, self-loving care so for example I've been walking more often and every now and then well often when I walk I bump into people I know somehow or another and we have a conversation and so it's a lovely way for me to socialize and to connect and um, I'm not really doing much in the world um, other than attending to my needs so uh, going through my to-do list, list tying up loose ends um, doing all the admin that I need to do in, or f that I, in order to move me forward. But nothing is really outer worldly. Everything is within my own space. And uh, I'm taking better care of my health uh, in as many ways as possible. So hence the walking. And in taking that action of self-care consistently, what I noticed is when I bump into those people and through our conversations, certain problems that I need to solve uh, end up being solved through just that conversation. And the action I took was simply to take care of myself. And do you see how uh, I, I used words with other people, but I used action with myself. And between that dynamic, the problems that I was trying to resolve uh, uh, resolve themselves without me having to find a solution actually actively find a solution so that's what this card speaks about stay focused on your goal focus laser beam focus operate through your heart chakra um, meaning uh, 
love what you do and do what you love and through that you are busy attracting all the uh, resources and tools and relationships that you need spaces people places uh, to get you uh, look direct you just got to stay on course the rest will take care of itself the universe is conspiring to make your dreams and wishes come true so that's kind of special what I didn't do is tell you the message of each card so uh, if you're interested hang around for that and I should have done it as we went but I did not So for the King of Wands, it says, Passionate and heart-fueled, we build this empire of light together. So that's why I'm doing it at the end, because it reinforces that the necessity to operate from the heart chakra, because that's where our light um, and uh, lightness of being comes from, and the warmth. Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords message. I am healing every day. So that loneliness is, and that parenting, you, in doing the self-parenting, you are healing every day. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> it's go time. I fall into the flow of this quickening energy and I swiftly face my desires head on. And remember, in the, uh, well, in the other reading, if you haven't seen it, uh, it does talk about the leap of faith. So there you go. This was uh, a lot of fun to work with a new deck. It's so refreshing to see different pictures and colors. And um, yeah, I, I love it because uh, I'll have, I will, get used to the cards as we go and that will be a learning experience so namaste in the cash